M0FXP Alliance HA1G now has new firmware. Here's the change log. Says expanded the FM receiving to 18 megs to 660, 840 to 1300. They definitely added air band, one touch frequency pairing, new display mode, synchronized display of frequency name, frequency and channel number and reception for airband, which is quite a big because you couldn't do that before. Display the corresponding DBM value. So basically the signal meter works better. Nice and easy to install. Turn the radio off, connect your cable. Uh, and then to get it into firmware mode, just press the two buttons, the yellow and the one beneath. Turn on, of course, get your comm number. When it's on, it sort of goes green, then red, the LED at the top. So we're actually in firmware mode now. Then download the new, the, the latest CPS, which you'll see here, just where it's red. Click that, download that and run that CPS. Also the firmware bin file, put it somewhere where you're going to find it. So if you look at my bin file just beneath, which is here, this little white one, just double click, see it there? HA1G, I just drag it to my desktop to so move this over a bit like so, so you've got a bit of room there. And when you click the down, back to that window we had, double click where it says HA1G, and then there it is there. I mean, we don't have uh, GMR, GMR, sorry. GMRS radios in the UK, but I've just put that on my desktop somewhere. Click down, run the software which is now installed up here, CPS, which is identical to the, uh, to the, you know, HA1UV, you just select a different model. I'll run it anyway. Right click on your Windows Square, so right click here, Device Manager, and you'll get the COM number. Just appear just here. Double click. And it's eight in the software. Just click, uh, you want to get the right model. So, Operation. And you want firmware. And then we're going to go port, we said was eight. Find that in your list. Where is it? It's there at the bottom, eight. And model important, HA1G. Select that file, so click select and look on your desktop where you put it. So I put it, and you just look for the HA1G one, see that? That's HA1UV, you don't want that, you want the G one. I will find it. So it's select file, desktop, normally right at the bottom. Where's that gone? I definitely put it here somewhere. <laughs> Okay, I have it there. So da -da, double click, it's in there. Com, com A, everything you need, and then just click download. Job done. And everything's going to work as normal, but you now have airband. I'll add a, a video at the end. Bye for now. I'd say it's okay, it's slightly distorted. But if you think you couldn't even hear it before, I, I guess. Let's go to the the B band. So let's try one, two, five, six, five. Oh. <laughs> One, oh, sorry about this. One, two, five, six, five, zero menu. Well, that is going in. Do you remember? Because in the software, it wouldn't go in. But yeah, I think it's working. Uh, bye for now.